Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Good morning, there Dr. Was a Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Oh, would you ah, look at Freeman. that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. The sample was just Looks sent like down to the test chamber. somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Good morning, Freeman. Gordon. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. Drat. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication. Maxwell's demon. It's cold here. It shows how far our field has Hold. Just hold on for one moment. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Bah. I can't stand. Morning, champ. Hello. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous clothes? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. <sighs> Dret. No toilet paper. Hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper.
Give me some space, Freeman. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? to worry about. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are... What's up, Doc? Feedback. Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Weren't you supposed to Give be in the test space, chamber half Freeman. an hour ago? Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Do you mind if I morning, ask you... Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Hmm. This could take a bit longer. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh. Here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, 
Everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-vax spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase journeys. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Nor how long. Hey. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion. Non-standard specimen. Whoa! Get away from the table! Oh, God. Shut it down! Shut it down! Someone get him out of there! Shut it down! It's not, it's not shutting down! Whoa! 